A pale hand reached up. Long, elegant fingers brushed softly over smooth, milky skin. Unblemished. Immortal. He traced the outline of his acutely pointed ear, finger traveling down a high, angular cheekbone, until it reached a strong jaw. His glinting blue eyes strayed to rosy red lips, delicately curved. There was life behind his eyes, despite the deathly pallor of his skin. I am exquisite, he thought. He waited for a soft ripple of water to steady his reflection. Cocking his head to one side, his finger moved back up to follow the lines of his almond-shaped eyes and the long, dark eyebrows that framed them perfectly. All the while, his mind grappled with the conundrum that had accompanied him for almost all his life. A rough hand, a warrior's palm, smoothed down the silken locks of long blue-black hair. Dark silk hugged the honed muscles of his back, like liquid onyx spilt over white marble. His eyes moved downward, past the thick neck and strong chest, the ridges and planes of his body lending him the perfect equilibrium. He was tall, much taller than the rest of his kin, and yet he was not as stocky as his younger brother had been. He was fast, too, his reflexes almost instant, speed akin to that of the northern mountain lions. And Grey Don had seen them, had stared in awe of their prowess, had coveted their ruthlessness. They, too, were predators. He smiled, first tentatively in satisfaction at the beauty of his own face, and then in pride as his two long incisors emerged, reaching just past his bottom lip. Their pointed tips were lethal, designed for piercing, for tainting elven blood. Beautiful, said the deviant side. Monster, said the elven side. Another ripple of water and his image wavered, distorted his jaw, twisted it. But it soon settled. It always did. His smile widened, lips stretching tight around his teeth, jaw opening wider than any elf should ever be able to manage. It pulled on his features until he was unrecognizable. But he was an elf. This body could not be vanquished. No warrior could kill him, for he was harnessed power, pale and lethal, terrifying to look upon because he was grotesque. And he was beautiful. Beautiful monster. Nimuan.